Cheeky Richos Egg Rolls. Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richos Egg Rolls. We're making this as a response to a recipe request from one of our subscribers. The ingredients will be scrolling as I speak and in the recipe box below. So let's get started. Okay, over a high heat we are going to add some oil to our wok because this is really very lean mints that we are using. And now we are going to add our mints and brown it off. So this will take a couple of minutes, but chop it all up as you go to separate the pieces of the ground meat. Okay, our meat has lost all of its pinkness. The juices that are emitting from it at the moment are clear. It hasn't quite browned yet, but we're going to send in our ar aromatics. So we've got our garlic and ginger, which has been finely grated, and we've got a finely chopped mushroom as well. Send that in with a good sprinkle of our pepper. As those flavors start to release, we're going to send in our finely grated carrot, just one whole carrot there, and sweat some of the moisture out of that with our very finely diced onion. And now it's in with our finely sliced or finely shredded cabbage. This is really finely, finely shredded. Now that's going to make a lot of water, so we've got to cook that until the moisture evaporates out of that. So keep it on a high heat and keep it moving so that it doesn't stick or burn. Right, that's coming on nicely. And now we're going to send in our soy sauce. That will add the salt that's required, but it'll also draw some of the moisture out of the vegetables and replace it with the soy sauce. So in we go with that. And also our sesame oil, which is traditional in a lot of Asian dishes. Keep that moving. And of course add any vegetables to this as you see fit what happens to be in season or to your own personal taste okay now when most of this moisture has evaporated out of this and the vegetables have well wilted down we're going to mix a little potato flour in with some water just to give it a bit of a juice just mix that all in just tip it all over it and then it's in with our spring onions So you've got plenty of colour, plenty of flavour, very little added fat and very lean mince. We're going to be rolling these in our egg roll wrappers and then deep frying them. So we just send in our lightly beaten egg now and just turn it off. Stir that all through. Right, so now that's ready to wrap into our wrappers. Now we just get our egg roll wrappers and separate them. Generally stuck together a bit, but they're quite rubbery. There's two there, so we just pull those apart and work your way around the edges so that you don't tear them. Just be a bit gentle with them. We're going to be using a medium sized cookie scoop to portion out the filling. Just lay those out. And cover these with a damp cloth in between rolling them so that they don't dry out. They're going to be very difficult to work with if they dry out. Okay, now we just get two scoops of our filling and put it sort of in the center. Just work with a couple at a time. Now we bring the center over and pull it in tight. Bring the edges in and wrap it up as if you were making a fish and chip parcel. And then roll it over on itself. And there you have it. The leg roll ready for deep frying. And do the same with the rest. So just pull it in. Roll it over like so. And there's another one. Pull it in, almost like sushi, and then roll it up. You use a cookie scoop, it's very easy to apportion it. It releases easily, you don't get covered with it, and it actually spreads it along the, the roll as you need it. Okay, our little egg rolls are ready to be deep fried. We've got the fryer on now with the oil, 
and we are going to cook them at 180 degrees until they're crispy and brown. The filling inside is already cooked, you just want to cook the wrapper on the outside. This recipe will make about 13 of our little egg rolls that are palm sized. You can make them smaller or you can make them larger. So it's quite an economical recipe and now we're going to deep fry them. Okay our oil has come to temperature. We're just going to lower a couple of our little egg rolls into our oil. Don't overcrowd the pan, just cook them a couple at a time. You don't want them to stick together and you don't want them to go soggy and fall apart have some paper towel available to drain them on. Okay, time to drain our egg rolls now. You can see they're quite crispy, browned all over, holding their shape very well. We just pop them onto some absorbent paper and continue with the rest. Okay, after three minutes it's time to remove our next batch. And there you have it, Cheeky Richo's Egg Rolls. I hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, please check out our Cheeky Richer channel. And don't forget to please subscribe and do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you and we are uploading lots of videos every week. Have a lovely day. Cheeky Richo's Egg Rolls. Let's have a little taste, shall we? They're crispy and moist, full of flavour, healthy and delicious. Thanks for watching.